I praise and thank God for this beautiful time that God has given us to come in his presence before his precious word. For our meditation today, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 17 verse 1. Better is a dry morsel and quietness therewith than an house full of sacrifices with strife. When King Solomon penned down this word of God, he might have never imagined in his wildest dreams that this scripture will have its effect literally in his life we know that the life of king solomon how it was he was immersed in wealth and he had all the so called blessings which a worldly person yearns for but he could never enjoy the love and peace of the family life as his lust for gathering all the women for his pleasure might have filled his life with struggles and turmoil family life is the blessing of god for each person where he learns the basic lessons of life and it is the place where a person gets prepared to face the challenges of life and peace within the family is one of the greatest blessings upon this earth that every man desires in his life it's a fact that neither riches nor honor in this world can ever secure happiness in a family if it could do so then all the wealthy families would have enjoyed peace within their family circles but we can see many examples around us where wealth seems as garbage when each person in the family looks upon each other as enemies and looks for opportunities to destroy and defame each other some describe the atmosphere of the wealthy family as hell where people suffer torture mentally it does not mean that riches are a curse to the family neither is poverty a curse to man as it will never take away the happiness of the family but the fact is whether it be riches or it be poverty it is the presence of god that binds the family with peace and joy of the divine presence we know that each person in this world is created unique by god who is the omniscient creator each person has been given different talents and abilities even the children who are born into a same family they are distinct from each other each of them has his or her own perspectives and visions and on the other hand we all are born sinners none is perfect in his life and so it is natural to have its effect sin's effect upon each person when sin rules a person he will try to have dominion over others as he lives for his own motives and pleasures he lives for himself and that attitude which is stained with sin brings strife within the family members though each person labors hard to gather riches thinking it will bring them a good life the fact is that their life is filled with burdens and problems that takes away the atmosphere of peace but when each person of the family gives importance to their spiritual life that is to walk in the path of righteousness that the lord has given through his precious word it changes the atmosphere of the family completely and the spirit of the lord controls a person then he will learn to respect others forgive their mistakes and bear each other with god's love by the grace of god we all are growing towards perfection each day we all have weaknesses in us which is unbearable for others sometimes and so if we look at our mistakes each day and ask grace from the lord to overcome it then we will have that broken and humble heart in the presence of the lord that will help us also to look at others with that same attitude and bear them by the grace of the lord it is the love of god that binds the family and helps to move on as one unit then a cottage that is filled with god's love and presence becomes a place like heaven on earth where all the members of the family gladly accept the will of god in their life it does not mean that the family will be wealthy and prosperous wanting nothing 
But as the scripture teaches us, though it is a dry morsel, the peace and quietness that the presence of God brings with it is sufficient for the happiness of that family. It is better than the house that is full of feasting with strife. It is said that God's love will sweeten a dry morsel and nourish the person who feeds on it, but strife will ruin the taste of even the delicious and healthy meal, and it weakens the strength of the person who feeds on it. So as a child of God, more than gathering riches, let us be more concerned and labor for the peace and love within our family. And that happens when each person takes care of his spiritual life and grows in the divine nature of Christ, being victorious over our weaknesses through the strength of the Holy Spirit. Let us work towards that goal so that even after we are dead and gone, our generations will be a blessing to the world. Faithful God will lead them in the right path. Let us be bound by the love of God that encourages, exhorts, forgives and loves each other without looking at their weaknesses. May the Lord help us for that. Let us pray. Father, we thank you and praise you for this beautiful opportunity that you have given us and thank you for speaking to us. Lord, we pray that each member in our family yearns for that relationship with you. And Lord, it's only this relationship that will help us to experience that peace within the family and be an inspiration for each other. Even if we don't have food on the table, even if we don't have a good house, or the most important thing is to have that peace that passeth all understanding. But when the world is running after material things, thinking that it will give them joy, Lord, thank you for opening our eyes. Bless our families. May your peace, may your joy be there in our family. Help us to be a blessing for everyone around us. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.